So here's the gorgeous Sam. And Sam is two years, come up to two, aren't you? Another Persian. Big thick coat on this fella. So uh, just got him out of the basket, had an assess of the coat, and he is actually pelted. So although he looks like a lovely fluff ball here, when you actually get to touch him, there's big lumps and bumps on him. Now these lumps, here's one here. Okay, there is no way you would actually get a comb through the back of those. And he's got more here. He's got them right down his spine here. They're too solid to get a comb through. So the easiest thing, and he's got big ones here and here. Where you lie, isn't it, baby, hey? So all underneath, if we could get rid of this top coat, you'd be able to see it, but all underneath is pelted in what I call the light Brillo brushes. They've gone very, very tight and they're on the skin. So he's going to have no option but to take this coat off. Haven't even felt underneath yet. Oh, my cake, baby cakes. Oh, yeah, there's some down there. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Yep. Okay, mister. So, we're going to get started. Hey, shall we see what you like for nippers? <laughs> there's a little one waiting. <laughs> That's his housemate. <laughs> So Sam's fine with those clippers. So, of course, we've already hit the pelt here, which is why the clippers won't come through. Normally we can go straight down the back. Uh, Good tight, boy. Yeah. These are tight, yeah. Mm. Good boy. There we go. So that's one of them. So see how the fur changes. It goes into so on the top looks okay. Underneath we've got this matting which is really tight and solid, and you know where you can get a comb through it. So it's a complete different texture, which is why we've had to do the lion clip on him. So it's the best thing for him to start afresh. And then as the coat starts to grow back, mum now has all the, the grooming tools required. And she's seeing the technique and she'll be able to keep on top of him then. And then we might only see her a couple of times a year, as and when, you know, sort of the autumn and the spring, when they're doing their big sheds for the winter coats and the spring coats, because that's when they really do get matted, a lot of the long hairs. And in between, uh, mum might be able to cope herself, now she knows what the correct tools are and the correct technique. And if not, we'll see you before, won't we? We'll see you again. <laughs> So Sam is very, very wriggly on the table, um, so it, we are trying to keep him settled as much as we can. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So again for Sam. The more regular grooming he can have, the better he'll become, behaviour-wise. He's really not, um, not happy about these back legs being touched much, or the underneath of the back legs, the inside. So obviously it's, it's difficult to try and uh, get under there. So I have turned, I've turned him over, I've got some of the tummy off. And we're just having to go in stages while I've got him still to do as much as I can in one area and then move to a, another section. So he is matted all around his bum as well. 
down these hind legs. So, oh, I know it's awful, Sam, isn't it? It is, it's just awful. <laughs> so we're onto the tail now with Sam. Sam's got a very, very thick tail here. So what we're on, we're on the, the coarse comb, which is the slightly wider teeth when you're dealing with the tail. Because you don't want to thin the tail right the way down. Because it's their pride and joy after all. So I'm holding the bone, tail bone, and just going through. And it is quite thick up at the top here. Good boy, Sammy, aren't you? Yeah, are you helping? Hey, are you helping me? Yeah. It's a good boy. Yeah. So it's important to do the tails just as much as their body because they do get matted. We are getting some stuff out of that. Good boy. Good boy. I think this little one wants some attention. He's tearing away. There's Mr. Leo in there, isn't he? A little tractor. While he's waiting. There he is. So there we go, uh, Sammy. Just going to clean your face, aren't we? And then that'll do you. Let's just check these mucky pups out. Yes, yeah, so we're going to give them a little clean. <laughs> okay, good luck. There is Sam. All finished. Okay, all finished. Looking rather dapper now. Okay, so his face is a little bit wet because we've just finished on the old. Uh... Never use your fingers on eyes. Always use like a cotton wool pad or something to to wipe because you can have. Um, Nasties in your nails that you you know you're transmitting into the eye. Hello, little there's a little lip over there. She's got a little bit of sleep stuck. Apart from that, you're all done now, aren't you? You'll be glad to hear you can go back in your basket and you can go home. Yes, you feel beautiful now, don't you? Hmm, Sam Sam? Yeah, are you a good boy? He's got lovely amber eyes, hasn't he? Sammy!